I'm out at the herring hole using this little stick bait, the old Raphael, the little ninja turtle. This Raphael is one of the micro stick baits that everyone's cleaning up the brim on, particularly at night. I knew it would be a weapon on the herring. In the video I'll run through the different setup I use and a few of the different retrieves. The first retrieve is a bit more erratic. I'm trying to fire up the herring here. So I'll cast out and then just twitch my rod slightly side to side or from the wrist. You don't want to give big rips with your arm because you're just going to keep on pulling the lure out of the water. It's a really small stick bait. It doesn't take much to give a little bit of action on the end of this one to three kilo rod. So basically you're just casting out and giving the smallest little shakes, but again all from the wrist. So you're not, you don't want to be moving your arm, it's just coming from your hand. With the Ninja Turtle, it's very well weighted, so when it sinks, it sinks down horizontally, which means there's more surface area, giving it a slower sink rate, and it moves from side to side. I think two or three were just taken on the drop. As you can see, it's pretty rocky around here, so you just got to be careful how far you let it drop, and just making sure that your braid doesn't get caught up in all the rocks if you let it drop all the way down. After they were fired up, you can pretty much just catch them on a normal slow retrieve. I think the twitch twitch is definitely the best way, but the slow retrieve worked fine, particularly once they were all just pretty much in a frenzy. What I was doing is that I could see the herring chasing behind it at a medium retrieve, and when I could see him chasing it, I'd just slightly slow down the speed and then they'll get hit. I'm not sure if this herring was worth getting wet shoes for, but I've got problems. When things started to slop a little bit, I just put a little bit of Procure on there. You can use S-Factor any type of scent herring absolutely love it. One of the most, I guess, biggest problems with using soft plastics, which is probably my most preferred way of catching herring, is the fact that blowies also love S-Factor and they absolutely savage the tails of your soft plastics. So this is a huge advantage for the little micro stick bait. The other main advantage is the fact that it's only 4.5 gram, so when you hook up a herring and they shake the head or they breach, when they shake the head from side to side they can't flick it out as much and you've got two of those really little trebles with the fine hooks so I lost very few fish compared to when I'm using like a 10 gram Halco twisty or a little Savage Gear metal. They both have their place for the casting distance but you still get a really good casting distance with this little micro uh, stick bait and I was casting into a slight breeze here as well. With that you're going to want a pretty light rod so you're looking at your one to three or two to four kilo rod. I've got my one to three kilo rod here so I can cast out those sort of four to five gram uh, lures with no issue at all because you want to make sure you maximize that casting distance and also you have to give it a little bit of finesse as well. I've got my 2500 reel but any of those sort of 1000 to 2500 is probably where you want to be. With your line I've got four pound braid so your sort of four to eight pound braid is probably where you want to be at. 
With the leader, it really depends on where you're fishing. Here you can see I've got to drag the herring over the top of the rocks here. So I've gone that sort of eight pound. So sort of that eight to 10 pound would be fine here. If you were off the beach or off a little rock wall where you didn't have to drag it over the top, anything around that sort of probably six pound would be fine. Herring aren't that shy, so whatever's going to make it more safe, so they do lose the lure. I would say the Raphael is the new go-to off the rocks. On a slower day, you could cast this into a burly trail and absolutely murder. I love a little bit of herring make fantastic tacos and also some great bait as well. I kept about half a bait and the other half I turned into some delicious tacos. Thanks for watching. For more land based videos, please subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section.